Hey guys, I know there's no videos lately. Uh taking a little break. <laughs> and uh well yeah, a little break and not a whole lot to report lately, but uh I'll see if I can slap some other videos together for you. Uh, I know you're enjoying them. So anyways, um I figured I'd just do a little tiny video here on my Yezu FT eight forty. Um when I got this radio I was wondering if the noise blanker even worked on this thing. And uh, apparently there's a few other uh, other amateur radio operators out there that uh, has the same radio. And uh, they, they've even asked the same question. Does the noise blanker even work on these radios? And um, long story short, yes, noise blanker works. It works better at eliminating some, some static and noise than it does others. And uh, I just wanted to show you, show you uh, basically uh, a very bad noise that I'm getting here, especially on the lower bands it's, uh, on 80, for sure, around this end of it. And uh, I don't know if it's power line noise or what, but it's it's pretty strong. And it's like an S S9. So I'll just bring in the camera here so you can see the level of it, of an S9. Pretty stable. To me it sounds like a bad, uh, bad, uh, bad line or something on the pole out there. Um, so, basically this is how well the FT840 eliminates this kind of, uh, this kind of noise. So I'm just going to press the noise blanker button here, turn up the volume, and you'll see the needle here pretty much drop out. So yes indeed, the noise blanker on the ASU FT840 do indeed work, as you can see. I'm starting to wonder for the longest time if it, if it worked, if there was something wrong or it, with, with the circuit or what, but yeah, uh, there's a lot of other amateurs that have been scratching their head asking the same questions, like does the noise blanker actually do anything, and yeah, it does. So, yeah, just a quick video, just want to uh, document this and whatnot. But uh, we'll be back, folks. In the meantime, hang in there. It's long winter. And there's uh, lots of stuff to do yet. Um, I plan on doing a video on this uh, filter soon. I actually got to take this fella apart and do some cleaning up on it. Especially on the frequency control over here. She's a bit dirty. I got to clean this one up. And I believe the auxiliary notch. Got a couple of spots there as well. But anyways, there we have it. Anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see if we can uh, dredge up in the next video. Anyway, dreadful noise. And if you're wondering what the uh, propagation is like here in Newfoundland, here in Canada, East Coast, it's uh, propagation is just as crappy here as it is everywhere else <laughs> in the world. So you're not alone, folks. We're even feeling it here. Even up on the uh, those noises not so strong. I just up this end of her. Let's scan through down through 40 meters or some here. See so if there's anybody on the band. Good 
give you an idea how dead it is here. <laughs> folks. We'll chat later. Seven, eight.